Sunglasses represents unrighteous understanding. It decreases the light or righteousness of the sun, which means Jesus. A white pearl represents spiritual purity. A black pearl represents spiritual impurity. Pearls are perfectly shaped like the sun and moon. They begin in the sea as a grain of sand. Matthew 13.45 Again the kingdom of heaven is likened to a merchant man seeking goodly pearls, who when he had found one pearl of great price, went and sold all that he had and bought it. The killer whale represents the demon or Nephilim leader, the top sea predator or antichrist, and soon to be world leader Prince William, also known as the Leviathan. Killer whales swim in cold salt water and eat fish, penguins, and seals. They have no natural predators. The movie Free Willy is homage to William. A penguin represents the Nephilim, or a demonically possessed person. They are half fish, which means human, and half bird, which means angel. White represents purity, and black represents impurity. Penguins are black on their arms, their back, and their head which means they have an impure authority, rule, and attitude. Their belly, or their manners, is white or pure, which means they seem pure in their manners to people, but really they are harboring a dark side. Penguins swim in the cold salt water and eat fish. They slide along on the ice, which means a pressing soul, on their belly, or with their manners. The elite have known that the penguin represents the Nephilim, as most of the elite are Nephilim themselves. And they drop this symbol in the meteor now and again. But there came a time when things began to change in the land of penguins, as new birds began to join their ranks. Among the arrivals was Perry the Peacock. Hi, everybody. How'd you do? He was creative and imaginative, and at the same time, practical and sensible. The penguins were fascinated with the possibilities that he represented. They thought he had real penguin potential. Perry, in turn, looked forward to the promise of status, wealth, and a sense of belonging to a great and powerful enterprise. He felt certain that his future would be bright in this new land. Penguins may be cute, but peacocks have more fun. <laughs> What's your problem? I'm a penguin. Yeah, uh-huh, I'm a penguin. Oh. Previously told me that my song was really out of days. Uh-oh, 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 got it. Got me going some penguin right now. Woo! Uh-oh, 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 raise the habitat. <laughs> They have wings, but cannot fly. They are birds that think they are fish. And every year, they embark on a nearly impossible journey to find a mate. Going to find your power animal. Slide. Put yourself together. Your house is full of penguins. Sewers of Gotham, a new villain emerges. You didn't invite me, so I crashed! 
he plots a foul reign of destruction. My dear penguins, thanks to Batman, the time has come to punish all of them! I said that you cannot be my brother, it don't matter if you're black or of all history's greatest monsters, you are by far the most evil thing I've encountered. Offer your soul to me, Dark One. Quack, quack. No! You can't have my soul! Holy jeez. Look at what we got here. A silly penguin is back again. No, Mr. Madison, they're not penguin. You got too much sun today. They're no penguin. Oh. The AOK hand sign actually represents 666. The smiley represents the Antichrist. The smiley represents the smiley conjunction of planets that aligned before Prince William was conceived on August the 25th, 1981. The smiley just represents the sun with this conjunction of planets symbol on top of it. This smiley conjunction, which was on August the 25th, 1981, was exactly 300 days, or 9 months and 27 days, before Prince William's birth on the 21st of June, 1982, which is the summer solstice. Prince William was born via Caesarean on the 21st of June, 1982, which just happens to coincide with a solar eclipse. The word hello actually represents hell plus the Ouroboros. We see here Roger Patel's book, The Value of Nothing, has a giant O on the front cover, which is actually a homage to the Ouroboros, or the eternal return of the serpent. Raj Patel is the false prophet. Here we see Prince William on the cover of Hello magazine, with the title The Real William. He is wearing a black t-shirt and his hair is dyed black. Now I know this is hard to believe, and I will go into more detail to why this is in my next movie called Buried in Lies. But Raj Patel, also known as Behemoth, is going to herald in an alien invasion, talked about in Book of Revelations as bringing fire from the sky, or desire from the sky. He is going to do battle with Prince William, also known as the Leviathan. Prince William will be known as the savior of mankind, and he will bring together all the nations of the world. In case you don't feel inclined to watch my other movie, Buried in Lies, I've included a small summary of the most important aspects of that movie, and that is, on December the 10th, 2012, Israel and Palestine will form a peace agreement. This will mark the first day of the seven-year tribulation. Between May 8th to August the 11th, 2013, there will be global terrorist attacks. All monuments will be destroyed. On July 11th, 2013, the Golden Gate Bridge will be destroyed and martial law will be declared. To get more details on the end times, please watch Buried in Lies.